hello guys and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda I want to thank you for joining me once again if you like what I'm doing hit uh, like if you want to see other games hit subscribe all right let's get back into it all right finally made it to the Nexus uh, let's see what else uh, is in store around here Oh, what's going on over here? Yeah. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Cool. About time. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the score is dealt as a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable. So, how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Really? Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Look, just point me in the right direction. Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Something wrong? Ryder, KC me and Sam note on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Let's go, let's go talk to Sam. Any, like, uh, side missions I think I'll do um, off camera. Yo, what up, Cora? Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. And Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence. Addison wasn't my favorite. Yeah. Meeting Addison was... interesting. She doesn't know you. I do. And you're doing fine. I appreciate it. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your sister's doing. Going to the habitat, dick.
All right, Sam, what's up? What do you need? <clears throat> Hello, Ryder. Welcome back to Sam Node. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. No, why all the secrecy? I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. It could scare people. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. Wow. That's... pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Profiles allow Sam to configure Ryder's implants for superior battle performance. Select the profile and press A to activate it. Okay. All right, let's investigate my dad's room. Pathfinder, Captain Dunn said to seal your father's cabin from anyone but you. It's open now. Okay. Printed books. Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders, too. Your father's first sidearm. A memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Oh snap! There's the ship. There it is. Normandy. Set. Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger related to your father and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. All right, let's do that. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. 
All right, let's play the memory. <laughs> let's be assassins. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. An AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By Is that Tina in the family, background? And adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. Is that Udina? <sighs> that scumbag? Alec? Ellen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow. Hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. Mom's life was at stake. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Uh, hey, have you heard about my sister? Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. That's all for now. Of course. All right, I want to go visit her anyway. Doing. I promise. Pathfinder, I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. Sorry for your loss, bro. That's awful. I'm sorry, Nigel. Yeah. We were gonna start families out here together. I have a pendant our father wore. Dash had its match. Will you... reunite them? Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. Hey, 
Like oh, something. Fisher, you son of a bitch. Looks like the muscles brew. Fisher, glad to see you're doing better. That was some expedition, hey? Captain said I'm going in the log as the first human to make contact with the cat. And Kirkland's the first casualty. Wish it could have gone differently. The cat are to blame. Wasn't your fault. It's obvious the cat aren't friendly. Nothing we did could have changed that. I suppose you're right. It's just not what you dream about. Meet a new species and three seconds later they're trying to kill you. I hear you. But I guess that's life. Not everyone will see things our way. In the meantime, chin up. It'll get better. Ooh, Dr. C, what's up? Ryder, good to see you. Damn shame about your dad, though. I'm sorry we couldn't save him. How did he die? I haven't heard how he died. Like a hero. That's how. That's the only part that matters. I've met one Pathfinder, well, two with you. But I figure that's the way to go, taking your last breath on an uncharted world. Yeah, sounds about right. Now I just need to make sure your sister here pulls through. How is my sister? How's Sarah doing? Her condition's stable. I see signs of REM activity in the brain, so she's dreaming means all the wiring still works. How'd this happen? It was dumb luck, really. We hit the scourge at the worst possible moment, just as the stasis revival was kicking in. It's a vulnerable moment, coming out of a 600-year nap, then wham! The circuits fried and overloaded the neural pathways. Don't worry, I'm on it. We're not losing another rider. Why'd you come to Helios? How did you end up with the initiative? Well, you reach a point in life where you wonder, is that all there is? I'd accomplished everything in the Milky Way I could. I was locked into a future of diminishing returns. So coming here was the world's biggest midlife crisis. A chance to wake up in the morning and feel hope instead of arthritis. Why are you staying on Earth on the Hyperion? Are you staying here on the Hyperion? You know that moment when you realize you're just getting too old? Uh... <laughs> right, look who I'm talking to. Trust me, it happens. For me, it was Habitat 7. Watching you guys running around, dodging lightning and the cat, it's a young man's game. Pains me to admit it, but it's passed me by. We'll miss you. We'll miss you, Harry. Just make sure to raise some hell once in a while, will you? I'm living vicariously through you. <laughs> Deal. That's all, Harry. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. If anything changes with Sarah, I'll let you know. All right, is there anybody else in here I want to talk to? Hayes, oh, didn't you get shot? Great. Oh, yeah, I want to talk to everyone. Ryder. Hayes, how's the wound? Doc says I'll live. So, this goes from a life-threatening gunshot to a story I'll tell my grandkids someday. With no need to exaggerate. That was a tough fight on Habitat 7. <laughs> Just glad to be on the other side of it. What up, Greer? Seen you found Fisher. Greer, how are you feeling? Grateful. If you and Liam hadn't found me in that cave, God knows what those aliens would have done. We couldn't leave a man behind. Yeah. Your father, Kirkland. They'll be missed. We'll never forget their sacrifice. It's a brave thing, risking your life for the greater good. Yeah, it just seems unfair. We barely got here. I'm sorry I'm not out there with you, but Kirkland was a friend, and I'm not cut out for this anymore. Understood. Habitat 7 was a nasty wake up call. You take care, Greer. Too. Thanks again. Nope. Don't need to talk to Random. All right. Let's go see this ship.
Whoops, went to the wrong place. Docking bay. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. That's me. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What's wrong? What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Is there a problem? Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with a family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential. But I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <sighs> Addison's gonna kill me. Hmm. Smooth. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Huh. Welcome to the crew. Finally, someone who cares is talking about it. Everything's state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. <laughs> this will be an adventure. <sighs> it's really gonna be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go.
Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jaff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. I'll keep us out of huh? I'm still I'll keep us out of trouble. Plenty of dangers out there. But I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? Yeah, crossing Galaxy was, was big too. We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. We got this. Things seem bad. But we've already beaten the odds. And we'll beat them again. You know it. I know it. So let's show them what we got. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callo, take us in. Alright, let's go. System, Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. Let's land this bird. Suiting up. Ready, Freddy. Hope we're all that ready. Callow, all right? Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multi-sensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. <laughs> A lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. You okay? I'm up for the adventure. This is exactly why we came. A new galaxy? A new ship? I can't wait to get both a little dirty. Pathfinder? The Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. 14 months. Core is hot. Shields holding, adjusting entry. 
we got this, right? There. Set us down at this nav point. How to even start? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7, that signal we scanned must be connected with the atmosphere. We could use the outpost's antenna to track it down. Let's get the power back on. They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. If they didn't have a Pathfinder, they do now. We'll make Eos home. Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. Okay. This analysis provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment, such as your weapons and armor. Love it. Got a code lock key. That should help get us in. Hmm. Well, since we're here. Play audio log. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Bunny analysis. Log. Botany consultant Allison May. New entry. What are you hiding, Eos? The plants exhibit sporadic hypergrowth despite an environment that can snap blast paint. Oh, sorry. Redo. <laughs> Despite an environment that can sandblast paint, I'm starting to suspect that the electromagnetic trigger I detected a signal. I'm starting to suspect an electromagnetic trigger. I detected a signal of some kind. Definitely alien. But that's not my fo but that's not my field. Uncertain if deliberate ve uncertain if deliberate. Vector noted. End. End log. Yeah, better than that. Alright, we get into the thing now.
Gotta love the containers. Main door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. Message for Nick Thinopolis. People are talking here, saying that EOS isn't viable, that things aren't going like they expected. I think you should come back. I know what you're going to say. I don't. I didn't sign up for the initiative to stay trapped on a floating tin can. And I promise, you can have your adventure later, when you've had more time to plan for your safety. Mon told me to make sure you don't get in over your head, and that's what I'm doing. At least think about it, for me, and check in more often. I've started to adopt <laughs> Mom's worry. Already chewed through the nail of my pinky finger. It's up to you whether I keep the rest of my nails intact. Love you. Hello? Sorry to bug you again. I requested an update on Leah Wells a few days ago and I haven't heard anything back. On my end, it looks like the messages wasn't even open. Is everything okay there? Get back to me soon as you can and tell Leah to message me back. Uh oh, something bad happened here. originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Whoa. There's a shuttle here. in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masks to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. No way this has been here long. Um... Going by call sign records, that shuttle is currently parked in the Nexus. Someone's been naughty. Oh, tell us how you really feel. Oh man, I already forgot his name. Go check out this antenna. Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we get a line on that signal. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. 
too long. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. Great. That ship wasn't Kent then. They don't knock. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. Who are you? So you're a salvager. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help EOS. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. But EOS could be saved. Is it smarter to hide and hope? Or take a chance that might save this whole planet? I remember when people used to talk like that. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Plain hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. Uh, let's see if I can get some more. Company. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. How many ships? Got the high ground. with the grenade. Station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. 
down all those cat sure use the power relay hell take whatever you like word of advice though if that signal of yours is out past the perimeter you'll need a ride a ride shuttles aren't fun in these winds you need wheels i think they kept a little something in storage you didn't take it didn't get around to salvaging it yet i tried it ain't that simple might be easier for a pathfinder though we're heading to our shuttle Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Do you buy and sell? Don't suppose you've got anything we can use? Cobra. Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. Oh, absolutely. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. sensory data, I might be able to reconstruct an image of the past. Wait, you can do that? Normally, it would be impossible, but since this is an initiative building, I have access to a multitude of data and arrays. Let's give it a shot. I could... Holy shit, it works! Can you get audio? Compiling now. We can't survive another attack. The storms and radiation were already killing us. Now we've got those things. We can't return to the Nexus with our tails between our legs. The whole station is counting on us. Then they're counting on corpses. Those things? Must be talking about the cat. Okay. Yeah. Play this audio. Wilcox thinks I'm crazy, but I know what I saw. Eyes on the mountain, watching us. We're not alone out here. This log was recorded a day before the first Ket ambush on Site 1. The Ket scouted them out. Hmm.
like salvage. New. Days ago, new. Probably the guy at the relay tower. Or his friends. Alright, let's follow the signal. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A Nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. I might be drooling a little bit. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Okay. Oh, that must be the structure. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Station protocol call initiated. Habitat one named Abros. Should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you?
Ugh, I can't get traction. It's too steep. Switch to six-wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. I thought you said snap. Oh, there we go. The Nomad's jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boost... Got it. Signal's coming from that structure up ahead. Oh, I gotta do it, guys. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby, from above us. I see it, up on that piece with the scaffolding. What is this? It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols, glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console and hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Okay. Enough to carry heavy equipment up there. That should do it. Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Wait! Whoa. Back off, or I will push you down! Dang. Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be all right. Trust me, okay? Uh, sure. I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? You think? Maybe you want to knock me down a couple more times to make sure. No, that's okay. You're obviously corporeal. Pretty solidly built, actually. Well. Look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Uh, oh crap. What is that? I know these things from Habitat 7. Later! Just take them out! Keep targeting that one! They make little bots! Ah. 
Jesus. tangle with the remnant was a lot messier the remnant these monoliths the observer and assembler bots they're all the remnants of something much bigger but that's too long Ugh, i hate long so the remnant like my name's better as pb tell me about the remnant Ryder, you've been studying this remnant technology what have you learned plenty not nearly enough it's old it uses glyphs and it's well protected I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for EOS. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. So we follow the thread. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Well, alright guys, that's going to do it for me uh, for today. Alright, I'll see you next time around the galaxy. Peace. Peace.